From the Imperial Palace overlooking the seven hills of Rome, welcome to Noshing with Nero. And now here he is, the originator of the citywide barbecue, your emperor and mine, Nero Germanicus. citizens welcome to today's show our recipe today is the barbecued favorite Christian on a spit so many of you have written to me since the recent sellouts at the Coliseum that I just couldn't resist first the meat selection is of prime importance this is a roasted dish so I any good fresh cutter Christian can be used, except, of course, a fryer. Virgin butt is my favorite. However, this particular cut we're using today is from Sodom, which makes its virginity suspect. This piece is unusually firm, yet juicy, and most important, free of scar tissue. Next comes the question, do I need to tenderize? Well. Feeding your meat ensures satisfactory results. However, this gap may be skipped if the guests have already arrived. Now, let's add some spices. So we'll be adding a little salt. Get a, work it way down in. Some pepper. Ooh. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Oh, oh, oregano, oregano. It wouldn't be Italian without oregano. <laughs> now let's talk about the fire a bit. First, the fire must be hot. Oh, hot coals. If you're in a hurry, mesquite wood will do. Today, however, we're using spaghetti wood from the San Giorgio Spaghetti Forest of Northern Milano. Good hot coals take time to prepare, so while we're waiting, let's mount our meat. <laughs> there are many ways to accomplish this, but I prefer a method with flair. Holding your butt firmly with both hands, fling it smartly into the air being certain that sufficient time elapses to allow proper positioning of your shaft beneath it. To do this, hold your shaft firmly by the knob and thrust upward. Proper alignment of your shaft in the butt is important for easy cooking. This must be done carefully since incorrect placement can result in damage to your hibachi to say nothing of your reputation. To check the alignment, Hold your shaft horizontally to the ground and spin your meat. Whee! Now we're going to mount our meat over the fire. But we have to make certain it's far enough away so you don't burn your butt. Well, there's only one other thing to do, and that's to start your spit. And now, while our meat is cooking, here's a word from Syphilis Infectus, one of my aides. Hail, citizens. If you're tired of feasting on the same old things, behold, the emperor's recipe scroll. Savor the succulence of stone soup from Gaul, Arabian horsefly pie, and that breakfast favorite, kumquat quiche. These recipes and more at only 12 denarius. Sounds good? Wait! There's more. If your messenger arrives before midnight tonight, we will include at no extra charge the lyric to these imperial favorites. Say I'm not responsible. I'm not pyrotechnical. I was out of town when Rome burned. Yeah. 
Young Greeks with red cheeks that go out with poodles. Maidens all laden with fresh buttered noodles. Nubian slaves that are tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. K Sarah, Sarah. Whatever I say will be. Your future's all up to me. K Sarah, Sarah. What I say will be. So remember, send a trustworthy messenger today and 12 Daenerys. Now back to Nushing with Nero. Welcome back. We have here our entire Italian meal. We're going to start out with some Genoa salami on Roman meal bread and then some Caesar salad. Ooh, that's my favorite. And then along with our Christian butt, we're going to have some Sicilian pizza with sardines from Sardinia, some Neapolitan ice cream, and to drink, oh, Dago Red. What else? Before we go, I'd like to thank our Greek friends who journeyed in from Athens on the tour chariot for today's show. Bon appetit. Come on, boys. Care to try my butt? Ooh, it to you, big brute.